All right, we got a uh, fuel rail pressure issue. You'll notice keys off, engine off, fuel rail pressure at zero. But take a look at that voltage there. Now I'm going to start up the truck. Okay, this is 6.4, by the way. I'm going to start up the truck, and you'll notice that we're still at 3 volts. Now the rail pressure is showing right there, desired and actual, so it's working on default. Now even if I rev it, we might see a change in voltage, but still it's the wrong voltage. So let's hold it tight there. See it is changing a little bit. So this is what we call a biased sensor, stuck in a given range. Now we're going to get out of here, and I'm going to go over to codes, so bear with me here. There's codes, and the code we have is a 2289, which means that IC peak pressure is too high, engine off. So it says that it's seeing a high voltage. So again, we turn the engine off, and we go ahead and switch over to the reading. Key on engine off right now. Again, fuel rail pressure is reading three volts and desired an actual zero, of course, because the engine's off, so it's working on default. So this is a classic problem with the fuel rail pressure sensor. Okay, uh, we put a new sensor on it, and we're just running a Keon engine uh, on running test, Keon engine running test, Keon engine running. Can't say that right, key, K-O-E-R. Anyways, we're finishing up here at the K-O-E-R. I just took it for a test drive. Runs great, no check engine light, but uh, we're just waiting for this K-O-E-R, key on engine running test to finish. And then we'll show you the numbers where they're at in terms of the voltages. So we're finishing up. I want to make sure we got no codes, anything that might have slipped out. Always double check. That's the nice thing about a Ford product is that if you have the proper scan tool, like I have the IDS, um, you can uh, pretty much uh, run a self-test. And what you're doing is you're telling the computer to test himself. In other words, test the circuits, make sure there's nothing running, plus you test the turbo and so on. So so here we can see, oh, we got some Sunday surprises here. Uh, here's the result, PO675. So let's take a look at this PO675. See, we got an issue. Ah, we got a glow plug. So therefore we got a glow plug circuit. That's a new one that just popped up. So we definitely got a problem with a glow plug circuit there. Um, could have been when we actually have the valve cover. So I'm going to have him check that circuit real quick. Make sure he got that plug in. Beto did the pulling off of the valve cover to get to that. So that's probably what's going on there. So we got a glow plug. So we'll check that. Let's see what Beto did. I tell you, good help was far to find. So, okay. So we are looking at the rail pressure. Now you can see the voltages right there. There you can see yesterday we had three volts. So now when I rev up the engine, I can see the rail pressure go up. And there's your voltage changing. There's your desired 80, roughly 8,900. And we got 8,900, let's see, for what's changing right now, 81, 82, 81, yep. So rail pressure close behind each other. But like I said, we're not locked in three volts no more and no related codes to that. So there you go. So we're gonna try to fix that glow plug problem and then we'll go from there.